So today we are going to talk about getting your shop ready for the holidays. It's time. I don't care if you're watching this in January, it's time. <laughs> we want to be ready because uh, from honestly in the pin world, September to December is go time. Like Halloween is such a big holiday for a lot of makers that I would put it on par with Christmas, <laughs> uh, which seems kind of bonkers, but these are my people. So I'm okay with it. Um, but I want you to get ready and I don't want you to be caught in the lurch or rushing for something or having last minute any of it. I want to make this easy for you. So here's what we need to do. I've got five things that I always do and I'm going through this process myself right now. So let's get into it. And if you like enamel pins, if you like learning about business, product based business, creative business, artist business, um, then hit subscribe. I have lots of videos that I've already made. I will be making more. And okay, on to the good stuff. Okay, I have five things that I want you to kind of check off before the holidays so you can be ready. Uh, number one is audit your shop. I want you to look at your shop listings. I want you to make sure the descriptions all make sense, make sure everything matches up. If you've copied and pasted um, or duplicated listings, make sure that you don't have listings that are for something else, you know, make sure the descriptions make sense and make sure you're getting your keywords in your listing descriptions as well. I want you to look through your photos. So these are really important. Make sure everything's like the same aspect ratio. So they're not kind of, they don't look piecemeal. Make sure they are compressed. So make sure they're not really, really big because that makes your site load a lot slower. And we don't want that. We want things to load as quickly as possible because people change their minds so fast. I also want you to look at kind of the content of your photos. Make sure they are consistent and really show your branding off well. Um, you don't want to have something that's like super dark in a shadow over here and then super bright white just on a white background over here and like just make sure the colors and compositions and everything look nice are consistent and are cohesive with your brand. Um, you can also take this time to look at your keywords. So if you're using Etsy, um, you can go into your keywords and make sure you're using long form keywords because those are basically what people are searching for. So instead of breaking out individual words, you want to think about phrases. So instead of cat, enamel, pin, you want to have that be one thing, cat enamel pin, and that's one keyword. Um, you also want to think about like gifts for cat people, like uh, gifts for cat people, <laughs> um, things like that, stuff that anything that people are searching for. So you can even use um, Etsy and like Pinterest or Google to just kind of start typing in, you know, cat enamel pin and like kind of see where it goes, um, kind of see what people are searching for and use that. So those are your listings. I want you to look through your shop um, and make sure if you have like a Shopify, which I prefer, um, look through if you have any like collection images or slideshow images, headers, stuff like that. Um, if you need to take more photography, now is the time. So just take a look at your photos, make sure everything's consistent and make sure everything loads quickly. And um, yeah, make sure people can get to what they need uh, as quickly as possible on your site. Make sure it runs fast. And yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> okay, number two, I want to apologize in advance because this one's not gonna be fun. Um, I want you to take inventory. <laughs> So there are all manner of things that can happen with inventory. We can do trades. We can pack the wrong thing in the wrong package. We can add freebies to packages for whatever reason. We can give stuff to friends and family. There are so many ways that our inventory can get off kilter. So I want you to physically go through and count everything, whether you're putting it in Google Doc, in Shopify directly, in Etsy directly, or if you use an inventory management system, I want you to count everything so you know exactly what you've got. And I mean like going through those weirdo drawers, you know, looking through those little boxes where you just put stuff after you've taken photos, like all that kind of stuff. Get it all out, count everything because you don't want to have any errors or have to refund people or email and all that kind of stuff. We don't want to do that. So take inventory 
And then that leads me into number three, which is to reorder what you need to. After you take inventory, I want you to look and see what you are missing. Um, I want you to think about you know, how long it takes you to go through stock. So if you know in a month you sell X amount of pins, you wanna reorder that right now because it's gonna take a month to get you from the manufacturer, get to you from the manufacturer, you know what I mean? So I want you to reorder what you need to, maybe order a little bit extra because you know you'll be getting higher traffic, higher volume in your shop. So now is the time to reorder stock. And it's time to order new stuff. If you've got stuff that you wanna have for the holidays, do it now. Number four is to reorder packaging. So if you are running low on backing cards, thank you cards, freebie stickers, envelopes, boxes, any of that stuff that you need, uh, paper, uh, tissue paper, anything like that, anything that you use to package your goods, to send to people, you wanna order that now as well. So I want you to kind of stick, take stock of all of that. So if you know you're running low, get it in, cause you don't wanna to have to wait for that. Um, generally those things don't take quite as long as ordering product from overseas, <laughs> but they still take a while and you don't wanna be sitting on stuff or having people wait like a week or two when it gets to the holidays because we just don't have that time. So take a peek now, make some notes, order it now, get it over with. You won't even have to think about it during the holidays. And then number five, I want you to start emailing your customers now. Anyone who's on your list, I want you to start emailing them. Email them once a week, every two weeks, once a month. I want them to get used to getting emails from you because once you start getting in the flow of the holidays, you're gonna wanna be emailing them more often and you want them to be able to look out for your stuff now. So you want them to be like, oh yeah, I get emails from them all the time. I'm going to open that. Oh, I love getting emails from this person. Let's see what else they're doing. So you're just kind of top of mind and you are familiar in their inbox and they'll, they'll be more likely to open your emails. And then if you have people that are unsubscribing, get them out of there early. <laughs> so you don't have to pay for them at the holidays. A lot of email service providers make you pay for the number of subscribers. So if people are like not gonna buy from you and unsubscribe from your list, bye, I wish you well. Um, and, and now I don't have to pay for you. <laughs> get people used to getting emails from you now. And I have a couple of videos about that. I'll put it, there's one there about what to email people. And my favorite email platform is Klaviyo. And I also have a video about that as well. Um, so yeah, get them used to getting your emails so you can send them more during the holidays. Okay, so those are my five tips. Um, let me know in the comments which one you're gonna start on today because I want you to start today. Um, and yeah, you can find me on Instagram, on TikTok, all over the place. Um, if you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments below and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.